My name before I got married was Mallory Evans. When I was a senior in high school, I took the ASVAB, which means Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery. What does that even mean? It's basically a way for the U.S. military branches to figure out which one you would best fit into. Which recruiter should they send to drive you insane? For me, it was the Navy. I had gotten some brochures one day that outlined all the wicked cool stuff that you could do whenever you were in the Navy. One thing that really piqued my interest was the Navy SEALs. I thought that was so cool, I wanted to become a Navy SEAL. Now, mind you, I was five feet tall and weighed about 220 pounds. I did not feel comfortable in my body. I didn't have the stamina to be an actual SEAL laying on the beach, let alone a Navy SEAL. But I figured boot camp would whip me into shape. I mean, that's what it's for, right? So I filled out the interest form and I put it in the little box on the recruiter's table in my high school. And a few weeks later, I started getting all these note cards saying, don't forget to sign up for the selective service. Now, I'm not male, so the selective service doesn't really apply to me, which I actually do think is stupid because equality, I think we should all have to sign up regardless of our reproductive organs. But yeah, this was 2001. I was 17 years old and I was female. So it was weird that I was getting these. But weirder than that was the name that was printed on them. It said Malroy Ekins. It's clearly a typo. I get it. I've got sausage fingers, no judgment. But this went on for weeks, and Malroy Ekins started getting a ton of mail from all kinds of different places. But the big thing was when the Navy recruiter actually showed up at my house asking for Malroy Ekins. I explained to him that I am Mallory Evans, and he said, no, no, I'm here for Malroy Ekins. I finally got him to understand the typo, and he was visibly disappointed, like, like he had just been catfished on a Tinder date, so disappointed. I invited him in anyway, we sat down and he was trying to sell me on everything about what being in the Navy would do for me. And I said, I wanna be a Navy SEAL. And he's like, oh, sorry about that. You can't cause you're female. It's hard to believe that this happened in 2001, but the thing he really tried to sell me on was the food. He kept going on and on about how happy I would be to eat all the food in the Navy. I think he just looked at me and thought, this chonky girl doesn't care about anything but food. And, and honestly, he wasn't wrong. He also said that it would be super unlikely that I'd ever see combat. This was clearly pre 9-11. Like we were just a few months out. But yeah, I got stuff from Malroy Ekins for years after that. I even started getting stuff from AARP. And finally, I got so sick of it. I just filled it out, sent it in and circled my actual birthday. And then they finally quit. But among my closest friends, my nickname was Malroy for years. Some people still call me Malroy, but it's pretty few and far between these days. I will never be able to forget that poor recruiter's face when he first laid eyes on me. He was devastated. Anyway, I hope you guys have had a good week and I'll see you again next week.